got a little bit of a curve to it, that one, but should still get it. Just going to give it a clean off. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do before I switch this on or anything is get the height of this correct. So I'm going to remove this honeycomb. And actually that's quite nice, that's the longer honeycomb. You can see it's about three quarters of an inch thick and just saves your surface underneath, you know, getting burnt. But yes, it does a nice job. And this over here is the air assist, which is also nice if you're cutting a lot. Uh, I'm gonna leave that plate there because that's not gonna hurt. And now this rock, I've got to try and get it a little bit level. Would be nice to have a piece of clay or blue tack or something so you could stick the blue tack on the bottom and level it out. I just got a little block there. I'm going to sit that on there for a second and get my uh, focus block and it goes under the back here. So I'll let it sit down onto that and I'll hold it there. I'm going to take the block out and now I'm going to go down about another millimeter or two. Tighten that up there. So I'm a little bit closer than what I should be on this high point. But when it gets to the lower points, it's gonna be hopefully, you know, still in focus. Okay, so I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put the card reader in with the card in it from indoors. And now I should be able to go to file and open. And this computer's pretty slow, but once that loads, uh, I should be able to find the drive that it's on. Using the laser location tool, click right in the center of this. And that should take that to where this is on the screen. And it's ended up over here, so what I'm actually going to do is just move this over till it's in the center of this rock. Make sure it's level again. Okay, well hopefully I can get the main face in the center. So that seems about right to me. So I'm gonna check my speed and my power. So you can see the speeds and the powers up here. If you see something else, check these tabs. If it's showing something like this, you just wanna click so you're on cuts and layers. And then if you right click, it will tell you what's on the layer. So this layer is nothing. I'm just gonna turn that off. And then you can see this layer is there. So I'm going to go quite powerful on this because it's a stone. So I'm going to go 65 power and a 9,000 speed. I'll leave the air assist off as it's normally better out, uh, better off for the etching. So I'm going to click. Uh, I'm going to make sure pass through is on because the image is already divvered. So. You've got your image modes here, but because it went into image R, you want to make sure pass through is on. I'm going to frame it one more time, make sure it's all good. And now I'm going to click start and let the laser do its thing. Yeah, considering the difference in the flatness of that, yeah, actually did a pretty good job. Might do one on the other side and not invert it and see how it comes out. The other side's much rougher, but I might just see. Okay, so you can see that one just finished. Oh. Yeah, that's a pretty good job on there. Pretty cheap material. If you get some nice flat stones, you could do some nice designs on them. A little bit tough to line them up, but you could. You can use the laser location tool to check where the top and the bottom and the sides exactly are. I did a little bit of a guess there, but yeah. So thanks very much for watching, and please like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.